tell you a tale when batteries fail and engines just won't turn over. So what can you do when your coupe takes a poop and it don't have an electric motor? In the WB sometime you will see that you just can't help but break down. And when that you do, you better hope that you have at least one good friend around. Not a Facebook friend, how many of them would step right out into the fray of the cold and the snow and the sleep to help you back on your feet to enjoy the rest of your day. Let me tell you a story of heroic glory on a freezing and blustery evening. That night, Jordan Baker said, see you all later, because she thought you would soon be leaving. As luck would have it, Russell didn't have the magic when she turned the key to ignite. The cold took its toll, though Russell tried to roll, the stutter didn't quite have the might. Of the squall came a white knight, y'all, the stuff of fairy tales and fables. It was Robbie Nee Huff, and you better not scoff, he was carrying jumper cables. He opened the hood, man, this guy is so good, it was only a minute or two. He attached the leads, helping a friend in need is what this man loves to do. It's just a fact that a pal has your back, more precious than gold is a friend. The engine roared back to life, thanks for being so nice, said Jordan to Robbie and. All in a good day's work, he was overheard, even though he was working for free. Good deeds are the perks we get when we work for the best that we can be. Good deeds are the perks that we get when we work to be the best that we can be. Hit it! Ow. Hey, welcome back. It's JB Free. Keep those good deeds submissions coming in so I can keep doing some freestyles and raps. And of course, much more importantly, we can keep making the world a much better place and much more fun to live in. Uh, this week, we are going to be discussing simple harmonic motion. Uh, simple harmonic motion is actually pretty simple. And it is really, really important. It governs so many things in our lives, including music. Without simple harmonic motion, we wouldn't have music. Speakers wouldn't work. We wouldn't have pendulums, so we wouldn't have clocks. We wouldn't have timepieces. Some people think that's a good idea, but uh, we also wouldn't actually exist because uh, it is actually uh, one model of reality is string theory in which all particles can be modeled as simple harmonic oscillators. This covers all aspects of existence and is really, really important. So let's just get started with simple harmonic motion. Let's start off with discussing some key terms. By the way, uh, you might want to print out this lecture from uh, if, on your WebAssign homepage, and you can fill in the blanks as we go along and uh, take notes. Might be very helpful for you to do that. So uh, starting with key terms such as oscillation, back and forth vibration, or periodic motion, periodic means repeating, of a particle, a fluid, an elastic solid, uh, any of those whose equilibrium has been disturbed. Equilibrium uh, means there's no forces. So obviously there's got to be a force for this to occur. Simple harmonic motion is an oscillation in which the restoring force is proportional to the displacement and in the opposite direction. So the restoring force is proportional to the displacement and in the opposite direction, that's going to lead us to the restoring force is going to be proportional. Here's a proportionality constant. I'll just use K to the displacement, but it's in the opposite direction. So that right there, as we'll come back to, is the defining characteristic the condition for simple harmonic motion, that the restoring force is negative, some constant, times x. Um, all periodic motions, any repeating motion, can be modeled as sums of simple harmonic motions. You can just add together a bunch of simple harmonic motions, and you can make any music, any sound. That's how a synthesizer works, uh, which you heard on that last rap. The period it is the time, we use capital T for this, because it's a time, the time to go through one complete cycle. The time for one complete cycle is called the period, capital T. The frequency, frequency is the number of cycles per unit time. And we measure that in hertz, HZ. And a hertz is simply equal to one cycle per second 
or you could express that as seconds to the negative one. Now there's an important relationship here. The frequency is one over the period. Frequency is in hertz. Since periods in seconds, you can see that the unit of frequency is per second or one over seconds, which is a hertz, hz. The angular frequency, now this is a really important concept uh, that we've actually seen before, believe it or not, Angular frequency, we use omega. Now, what did we use omega for before? The angular speed. And you will see for certain situations, the angular speed and the angular frequency will be the same. This is the number of radians per unit time measured in radians per second, or you could just say per second with the radians implied. So angular frequency omega is measured in radians per second or just per second. Again, radians is a non-unit. And uh, omega, important equation here, is 2 pi times the frequency. Or you could express that as 2 pi over the period. Now, uh, we use this in angular speed before, where uh, a complete time around was 2 pi radians. It's going to be the same for this, except won't necessarily be a complete time around something, but it'll be a complete cycle will be represented by two pi radians. And that is the same for if something's going around in a circle, a complete cycle is two pi radians. Uh, for simple harmonic motion, a complete cycle is also two pi radians. So we're gonna see an overlap uh, in meaning between angular speed and angular frequency for a rotating object. The equilibrium point, next concept here, equilibrium point. This is the point where the displacement is zero and the net force or net torque on a particle or object is zero. Uh, at this point, the object will reach its greatest velocity. At the equilibrium point, that's where the object's gonna have the highest velocity and all the energy in the of the system will be in the form of kinetic energy. The amplitude, amplitude A, is the maximum linear displacement or angular displacement from the equilibrium point. It's when it's at its extreme, that value, that displacement is the amplitude. Now, when the displacement is equal to the amplitude, restoring force will equal its maximum value. Thus, the acceleration also reaches its maximum. When the displacement x is equal to a, all the energy of the system will be in the form of blank. Now think about this, uh, as we'll see an object on a spring, it can be in simple harmonic motion. What form is all the energy in when it's pulled as far as it's going to go? It's all in potential energy. And the velocity or angular velocity must be equal to zero. At the extremes of the motion, velocity must be equal to zero. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here is an example of simple harmonic motion. I'm going to pull this weight down, and uh, it's on a spring. So the first thing you got to notice is that there's a force that's opposite to the displacement. And notice that when it's down here, the force is up. When it's up here, the force is down because the spring is compressed. So we have a situation here that the force is in the opposite direction of the displacement. And in fact, because the uh, equation of uh, Hooke's law is F equals negative KX, the force is oppositely directed and proportional to the displacement. So this is our perfect situation to have simple harmonic motion. Um, You'll notice here that the object is, uh, there's a midpoint right here, uh, and that there's an extreme that it gets to, and it's the same height above this line as below the line. That's called the amplitude. The distance from here to there, here's the amplitude. The distance from this point to the maximum point is also called the amplitude. And uh, this is simple harmonic motion. Now, a very important aspect of this is its relationship to circular motion, and I'm going to show you that right now. Notice that this is an object in uniform circular motion. It's going around a circle at a constant speed. I want you to notice the y component of this thing going around in a circle is exactly the same as the y component of our spring. 
Notice that that spring is following that circling object in the y direction exactly. So we can model simple harmonic motion with the motion around a circle if we just look at one of the directions in this situation, it is the vertical direction. So something going around a circle, if you just look at the up and down motion, is simple harmonic motion. It's also true that if you just look at the back and forth motion, if I just had my cursor here follow this thing left and then right and then left and then right, that is also simple harmonic motion, but it's out of phase with this motion by pi over 2 or 90 degrees. We'll see more what that means later. So this is simple harmonic motion where the force is proportional to the opposite of the displacement.